So that confirmation that the number five seeds, Kim and Kong, safely through to the quarterfinals. But of course, in this section of uh, the draw are the Olympic champions, uh, Matsutomo and Takahashi. And of course, the defending champions, Chen Ching Cheng and Jia Yifan. This is, of course, the top section of the draw. So after that uh, women's doubles, we now turn our attention to mixed doubles. And it's the two left-handers from Hong Kong, Tang Chunman and Si Ying Siet, the Asian Games silver medalists and World Championships bronze medalists from two years ago, up against the former World Junior Champions, Rivaldi and Mentari. Well, this the bottom half of the draw, and it's the only match yet to be completed. The number two seeds, Wang and Huang safely through, and the only former champion left in the draw, Praveen Jordan, who won in 2016 with Debbie Sunanto, now playing with Octavianti. But of course, the big news from earlier today was Ellison Smith uh, beating uh, the champions from two years ago, and last year's beaten finalists, Watanabe and Higashino, the number four seeds, and didn't just beat them, they beat them in fine style. So this will be the first meeting between these two mixed doubles pairs. Not altogether surprising, considering Rivaldi and Mentari have only just really come out of junior badminton because they won their world junior title in 2017. Did actually play the All England last year, so this isn't their first experience of the All England Championships. So, uh, yeah. Toss of the coin. I got a red and, and a black for in Indonesia. In the red. Boas. Black for you. And black. black. And Denmark. Service. Service. Oh. Yeah. 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 Receive. I think that the Hong Kong player won the toss and have chosen you? to serve. Which side? I'm quite sure about that. Yeah. So, uh, this side. Uh, Okay. Yeah, indeed, they did choose to serve because uh, Rivaldi and Mintari have chosen ends. So, these two pairs, both unseeded, and it means that we will definitely have an unseeded pair in the semi-final because whoever wins this will play against the unseeded Marcus Ellis and Lauren Smith in the quarterfinals tomorrow. So as far as Si Ying Suet is uh, concerned, uh, she is 28 years of age. And as you can see, uh, though they're number 10 in the world ranking, two days ago they were moved up one place to number 10. They have been as high as two in the world ranking. Si so Ying Suet is trying to reach her second All England quarterfinal because Eight years ago, she was in the women's doubles quarterfinal with Tunlok Yan. Her partner, also a left-hander, also born in Hong Kong, in Sha Tin, which is where there's a very famous horse racing circuit. And they were silver medalists at the Asian Games two years ago and also bronze medalists at the World Championships two years ago, making their second appearance at the All England Championships, the two left-handers from Hong Kong. And in the first round yesterday, they beat Sam and Chloe McGee from Ireland in two straight games. Just 30 minutes, as you can see, for that match. So to uh, Peter Mentari, 20 years of age, born in the Indonesian capital of Jakarta. Up a couple of places in the world ranking this week, the Indonesians back up uh, to 17. And it means that it's their seventh week in total in their fourth different spell Ready that the former world junior champions are at a career high of 17. So in the first round, they had a wonderful win over the number seven seeds, the Olympic silver medalists, and beaten finalists here at the All England, 
three years ago, Cham Teng Soon and Go Liu Ying, and they beat them very comfortably indeed, 16 and 11 in just 33 minutes. So as I was telling you, Henrik Boas Olsen, our umpire for this one, and Kang Sun Young, our service judge from Korea. Well, there's no doubting this pair from Hong Kong are, have world-class potential. We've seen that by the fact they've been up at number two in the world ranking and medals at both World Championships and Asian Games speaks volumes, but they've been struggling of late. I think there's been injury problems. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Peter Hanningjas Mentari, Reno Rivaldi, Indonesia. And on my left, Chi Ying Sui, Chang Chun Man, Hong Kong, China. Chang Chun Man to serve to Peter Hanningjas Mentari. Love all. Play. So the former world number twos from Hong Kong. The two left handers, Tang Chun Man and Xi Ying Sui getting this second round mixed doubles underway against Orinov Rivaldi and Peter Mentara. Whoa. Six over, one all. Delighted to say that sitting alongside me is Steen Peterson, former head coach to the Danish national team. And Steen, you and I, uh, Two, we know one. that Rivaldi last, last year had a very nasty shoulder injury. And this is the first time in four tournaments uh, that the Indonesian pair have actually got through the first round. Two, and they're highly talented, though, but it's good to see them uh, back, not necessarily in the best form, but uh, they're making their way back after the injury problems. Yeah, and, and uh, judging from the first match, they seem to be in great shape. Because, I mean, uh, Chen Ping Sun and, and Go Liu Ying, they've been very uh, consistent um, in, in the big tournaments as well. Uh, highest ranked Malaysian mixed doubles pair at the moment. Mentari. Three, oh. Leaving the Hong Kong pair absolutely stranded with a deceptive drop shot. Tang Chung Man, he was on his way back. That's a fabulous oh. shot. Four, three. Oh. Five, three. Challenges called so an early out. challenge in this second round encounter. <laughs> oh, it was clearly out. Challenge unsuccessful. So the challenge. One challenge remaining. Six three. Play. Seven, three. Well, it's been a very good start for the Indonesian youngsters.
six over. Four, seven. It was ambitious shot, Steen. Huh? It was. <laughs> it was, but I mean, if anyone can pull off these shots, it's um, the Indonesians players. Ah! Oh! Oh. So Six over. Eight, five. Serve to uh, seeing Swit. Very often has a little bit of a long swing with her left arm there before she uh, hits the shuttle and can put pressure on her. And directly from the service situation, we're in a good spot suddenly. Oh. Oh. Oh, Six-point advantage. The former world QB champions. Just five minutes played. Oh. So, Steen, I'm going to jump right in with Jules' fun fact of the day. And it's a two-parter. So I've got a fun fact, and then there's a question afterwards. Only one mixed doubles pair has ever gone on to win the All England title, having won the World Junior Championships. Who was that pair? Ooh. I'll give you a little time to think about yeah, it. That, that would be good. That would be good. It's been one individual as well. Somebody who lost earlier on today. Cheng Shi Wei. Yeah. Six, who won the World six, Junior Championships 11. in 2015 in Lima with Chen Ching Cheng. But only one pair has won the World Junior title and then. I think that's an interesting thing in itself, though, Steen, because yeah. it shows the complexity of mixed doubles and how, uh, in the senior game, how difficult it is tactically to play this discipline. Yeah, and also that, um, I mean, it's not certain that just because 11. you win the junior, World Junior Championships that your talent is the same scale-wise. Uh, could be the male player that's more talented or it could be the female player that's more talented. Mm. But it, it, it's not a reassurance that you can succeed as a pair later on. But, but these two, my, they're doing well. Yeah. And they oh. play much faster than I've recalled them. I last saw them when I paid a lot of attention to them when they were in the final of um, Swiss Open last year. Yeah. Yes, they've been in two World Tour tournament finals, both Super 300 level, not only the Swiss Open last year, but 2018 Side Modi 300 event. It's a terrific round, wasn't it? Very 
But I should have paid attention to them there as well because I think I was calling that tournament. <laughs> That's just wide. Ten, and this 11. Five straight points to the Hong Kong pair since the mid game interval. Yeah, it's, it's not that surprising because I think uh, uh, Tang and Si, they're very uh, good um, tactical wise. So this is the first meeting, so probably been a little bit uh, uncertain about what, what are we going to face here. Six over. Yeah. 12, 10. Some thought, but uh, can't really come up with uh, a good answer other than uh, perhaps Watanabe and, and Higashino. I think Watanabe did well at the juniors, but I'm not sure they won. They, no, they were bronze medalists. Yeah. Oh. yeah, that's a terrific smash from Rivaldi. Am I going to put you out of your mid misery and get my tea back this that, evening? That would be nice. That would be nice. Yes, oh. it was her Hanbin and Yu Yang won the 2009 All England. Wow. Having won the 2004 World Junior Championships in oh. Richmond in so, Canada. So That's amazing. Yeah. Because I don't see Yu Yang oh. as especially um, specialized mixed doubles player. Olympic bronze medalist. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 14, 11. into trying to intercept that Mentari. It's well played by Tsiyan One of the, the things that could help them in this game is to, to um, sort of play basic mixed doubles, trying to get C to uh, take control of the net because I think Tang has the firepower to um, Penetrate the Indonesian uh, defense eventually, or at least that will be where the battle is. So, uh, Rivaldi has improved since his injury, in my opinion. 15, He's hitting harder than I recall him uh, from last year in, in Switzerland. And of course, that's also due to maturement. Yeah. That's a great return of serve, wasn't it? Just enough pace on it to get it past and in a downward direction at Si Yung Set. Oh, my goodness, that was nice and good shot. I think he's more adventurous as well with his choice of shot, yeah. Steve, since his injury. This man. So do you think he's uh, sort of um, uh, moved his playing style a little bit towards uh, Hafiz Faisal, whom we saw yesterday? I so think, I, yes. I think he has. Yeah. And we know the Indonesians, they always have this beautiful touch. Mm. Uh, can keep the rally going for a long time with them. Um, with high shot quality. Uh. 
Yeah. I like the change of pace there as well 19, from Rivaldi. 14. From the back of the court, the first was the slice one. There it was. Then he follows forward. Very well constructed rally by the Indonesians. And talking about uh, Rivaldi, I think we also have to mention uh, Mentari, which in my opinion have become stronger from, uh, from the back court. Yeah. Um, probably also uh, logical 15, as um, she also matures, of course. It's, it's a little bit tough to, um, to do well in the doubles categories, which is a lot about power and so on. When you're a junior player, uh, it can be easier to, to make your way forward in the singles disciplines, but um, it seems like they're making good progress, this Indonesian mixed doubles pair. Yeah, I agree. Well, that's a lovely shot. Good disguise. 16, 19. Nope, nope, nope. Stand by. Seventeen, nineteen. bit of mind games. One pair wants the shuffle change, the other pair say no, we're winning with this shuffle. Just one point in it now. the body I was committed to her backhand defense couldn't change to the forehand defense that's been wide and indeed the two left-handers from Hong Kong are back level Challenging. If they're wrong on this, uh, they have no more challenges. And obviously it's crucial because uh, depending on the answer, depends which pair has the game point opportunity. Here we go. It's in. It's in. Indeed, it is Rivaldi challenge. and Mentari who have the game point. No challenges remaining. Serves over. 20, game point, 19. Play. Oh, another great drop shot from Rivaldi. And the former world junior champions take okay. the opening game. 21-19, 17 minutes. He's so relaxed looking, yeah. isn't he? <laughs> Over Woody yeah. Anto, yeah. his coaching like, style. How hard can it be? <laughs> <laughs> won this tournament before, how hard can it be? <laughs> well, has he won the tournament before? I don't think he has. No? Two times a world champion. Yeah. His fourth partner on it three consecutive times with Tinto Akman. And in fact, reached four consecutive finals. He was in the final as well. Chen Kang in uh, 1993. Lost to the uh, secretary of the PWF, Thomas Lund, and uh, Jon Hos Christensen. Back when it was held in uh, 
Wembley Arena in London. That was the last year it was held. Yeah, it was. Wembley Arena. It was an, an important um, first game win for Mentari and uh, Rivaldi. I think they were in the driver's seat for the bigger part of that first game. It would have been devastating to um, to lose it, but um, it was close enough so that uh, we should definitely not rule uh, tenancy out. No. One in the beginning of the rallies, there was some of the skills that I like about um, Ribaldi, where he, from low position, plays it back with quality. Yeah. It's easy to play with quality if you're at tape level or above tape level. It's what what you can do when you're below tape level. The accuracy you can uh, play with from there and perhaps even deceptions that's what's um, separating a number Two, of these one. players and pairs Your place, but it was just as in between the two Indonesian players, just out of reach for Rivaldi and uh, too much to the backhand side for Mentari. in the second game now, the Hong Kong pair. Dictating the pace more. in the stadium here and it, it can be difficult to uh, determine because it's not like you only play it long on one side of the court uh, but uh, I still feel that there's a drift uh, coming from the far side where Tanansi are playing towards the Indonesian side which makes it a little bit easier to score in mixed doubles so the uh, for, for instance for the men's singles Six. it's it's wow. a um, it's a deficit that you can't really play the backcourt with accuracy, but not so much in the mixed doubles because you don't want to lift and play the backcourt. You want to play some flat drives, long line if you can, but basically you want to be able to get a little bit more sting in your attack. Yeah, Reno. very Reno. good point. Reno. a clever shot from Tang Chun Man. Held it to the last oh. moment. Here it comes. Look at that. Good awareness too, tactically. And there's some lead. 7-1. Oh, that's shot. 8-1. A 
takes one left. What have the Indonesian youngsters got to do here, Steam? Because they've, they've obviously stopped dictating the pace. How do they uh, sort of rekindle the form that they had in the opening game? Yeah. Or, or is this to do with the drift that you were explaining a moment ago? I don't know. I mean, it, it shouldn't be that um, decisive. I would think in the um, in the early stages of the rally, in the uh, service situation, which is first four shots, maybe um, in mixed doubles you could extend it to the first six shots. Oh. It just seems like um, they're a little bit um, a little bit faster on on um, on the shuttle on the um, on the Hong Kong side. And, and we know that they can play uh, clever shots Three, and sort of ten. not really uh, giving the Indonesians a chance of um, of turning the rally around if um, if they're not in, in a good position. So they're not taking uh, a lot of um, bad choices at the moment, uh, Tan and, and C. Mm. Four, ten. So... I'm, I'm not totally sure, but but uh, I have a feeling that they've tried to uh, cramp the game a little bit too much, the Indonesians, that now they're playing a little bit up against the drift, I would think. So they could actually use the backcourt more. But it's so difficult to get the right length. Yeah. Interval. So it's a seven-point advantage for the two left-handers here in the second game. So these two, they could really help their fellow countrymen, uh, Faisal and uh, Vijaya, in terms of Olympic qualification. Faisal and Vijaya currently holds the eighth spot, which uh, on, on the uh, qualifying list in mixed doubles, which uh, would give Indonesia two participants at um, the Olympics, as uh, Praveen Jordan and Octavianti is uh, placed on as number five. But one of the pairs threatening Faisal and Vijaya's eighth spot is uh, Tang and uh, Si, they're number nine. So if they move up on at the expense of um, Faisal and uh, Vijaya, then they're down to one pair only. Yeah. And they will miss the qualification even if they're finishing ninth on the uh, world ranking list, Faisal yeah. and Vijaya. So they'll be rooting for their compatriots. to go directly for a win in that position. Excellent service return at the moment from uh, Tang and, and Si, who tries to put it below tape on the first quarter of the court, more or less. Oh, 
perfect placement. Seven. Yeah. Let's see if we get the replay, whether the length was correct on that lift. Yeah, it was a little bit short, wasn't it? Yeah, it was yeah. Really a little bit short. Sixteen seven. Well, very much looks as if we will go to third and deciding game here. Scores doubles. Oh, oh, what a great serve! That's a super serve. Seventeen seven. Uh, going for the lines at the moment. That was also perfect placement by uh, Mentari. Six over. Landing, that was very lucky because she uh, she did a mistake uh, earlier on. She pushed it from the net, and that gave the, that there it was. That gave the Indonesians the possibility of turning it around. There's some sideways drift there, Jill. There's definitely, definitely some sideways drift. Yeah, left Nine, to right. Nineteen. Mister. Oh, they're challenging. They were convinced that was long of the back line. Good challenge. Correction. Out. So game point opportunities. Six over. Twenty game point ten. Play. Hey, that's too steep. <laughs> Eleven twenty. Yeah, can't go under the net. It is now one game all. 21 12, the response from a time and see. That's the opening game. We're just under 32 minutes into the match, one game apiece.
So the players return to court a little early. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. So one game apiece. Second game. Yeah. And deciding game. Oh, that's, that's very nice work at the front of the court from Mintari. Steen, it's always very difficult to understand when we watch a match like this, how one pair can dominate in the first game and then the other pair totally dominate in the second game. <laughs> Given what you've said, we, we often see it when there's a significant drift, yeah. must be said, but you eloquently explained why the drift isn't so important in this mixed doubles because there's been so much pressure on the first four shots of the rally. No, it is important. It's just not... Uh, important in the same way as in the men's singles. For instance, in the men's singles, um, the, the better um, side would be the near side here because you could um, play your clears and your lops and, and so on to the baseline with accuracy, whilst uh, the opponent wouldn't be able to do the same, uh, fearing One, that it two. might go long on, on the near uh, back line here. But in the mixed doubles, there is not that much backline play, that it's a lot more important to get the extra bite in your smashes and your your flat game. So the better um, side is the one that uh, Mantari and Rivaldi is playing at the moment. Yeah. And it becomes really, really important who wins the uh, the battle for the initiative. That's a good shot. He tries their uh, tongue. Unfortunately, it's a little bit inaccurate. But but they must try. Both pairs must try to get the initiative. Uh, Rivaldi and Mantara because they can score from um, from the attack, and of course Tang and Tsi because if they don't have the attack, then then it can be certain that the Indonesians are scoring against them. So there will be a lot of battle uh, around the net and, and the mid court area. Yeah. So oh, lovely, lovely block once more yeah. defensively from Seeing Swift. And I think if um, if Tang and Si, if they're within reasonable distance of the Indonesians, say like, um, I think they can afford to be down 9-11 and they would still be the favourites um, to win after the change events. So he's quick there, Rivaldi. Yeah. And one of the uh, other things that are really, really hard to um, to notice is that in the flat game, the shots from uh, Rivaldi and Montari, they arrive split seconds earlier. If it's fast paced, then they arrive split second earlier uh, on um, Tang and Si's side. That means they come a little bit late. Just a tiny, tiny little bit late, but that's all it takes here. Yeah. It has to be a tiny little bit late then you're behind in the rail. Yeah. Oh. Good save initially from Rivaldi. Five, four. But it's very good follow-up from potential man. And then it's super important to be alert to what your roles are here. And I think the Hong Kong pair is really, really aware of what they Six. need to do individually. Whereas for Mantari and um, Rivaldi, Mantari's job here oh. is to secure the attack on the front wall. And of course, it's also Rivaldi's when when he's uh, returning, uh, the serve. she should make a way forward. Oh. Yeah. But I think that's the big Seven, difference four. between these two pairs at the moment. Uh, after the opening game, I think that C has really 
uh, done so well about when she's forced to defend, she's turned the shuttle nicely, she's blocked yes. it. When she's got forward to the net, she's varied the pace. Yeah. Uh, it, she's dominated like that. Yeah. I like that one. And, and we have to realize that there's some shots where you can't always play the tactically optimal shot, but where you just have to sort of stay in the rally. Yeah, that's a very good rally. Sometimes the opponent plays well also, and that means that you can't play the shot you would like to play, so you have to sort of go further down the list and pick the third or the fourth choice maybe, and, and then see if you can get up on uh, one of the preferred choices in terms of uh, blocking and dumping the shuttle below the tape as a front court player. Excellent service return again. Yeah. And, and this is where I feel that, that uh, Mentari is not really totally alert to what her role is. She's got to take up the, the, the battle there. Uh, that was a little harsh, I can see, because it was deflected. Yeah. yeah. Pushed it long. Nine, five. And the push on the service return gives Tang a chance to, to uh, lay it off on the front court, block it. One of the sides. Two, ten, five. Six over. Six. Well, that's, I know they won the rally, but uh, they were a court, the Indonesians, with the push down the centre. Yeah. That's the second time they've been badly caught. Misunderstanding who's going for what. Oh. 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 That's nice. Seven, ten. Of course, the service quality also means a lot here. It's, it's often difficult to uh, to see on the screen because um, you're not level with the uh, net. It seemed to be a really good service from uh, Rivaldi, where there was no chance of um, putting it below the tape for see. Landed in, but that movement there from C is and following forward is exactly what you've been talking about. Yeah. Mentari should be doing. She should be doing that. She shouldn't. In, in the first game, they they were successful with her attacking from there and and um, uh, Rivaldi uh, intercepting. But but since then, she really hasn't been successful. So she should focus on making her way to the front court. Yeah. Well, there's a two-point advantage for Tang and Si as they change ends in this deciding game. Should have a little stick the umpire that we could poke the coaches with. <laughs> get up, get up, get up. <laughs> 11 9. So with a two point advantage. Ah, ah, Man and see, see it. And now, according to our theory, 
the better end to play from. Full order now then for the Indonesians. That's a great smash from the town there. Powerful and steep. Excellent. Yeah, that's good. 10-12. Stood a ground at the net. Yeah, two good shots from uh, this one. High quality. Makes it difficult for Tse to do anything. And uh, she sort of sets herself up. Well, I think Tang Chung Man has called for the doctor. The right arm raised by the umpire means he's calling for the tournament referee. And if he raises his left arm, it's a challenge. So you can always tell what is going on. And the tournament referee has come on with Dr. Ashwin Patel. Yeah, he's got a, I hope it's not a serious recurrence of his back injury. No. A bit of cold spray on his back. Yeah. Dr. Patel has been with the All England volunteering for, I think it's 36 or 37 years now. I didn't notice it in the rally. Was it something that happened during the rally? No, I, did, I wondered. You know that really good smash you said that yeah. he hit? I wondered if after that or during that smash he had hurt his In back. the landing, perhaps? Yes, maybe. be very disappointed with the error on that defensive block but she's played the blocks extremely well today yeah. and that was a nice idea Side of the court uh, after the rally, uh, Tang Chun Man. I think it was the his left side that um, he got some cool spray on, and uh, that indicates that it would be more difficult for him to play his forehand side than to jump out to his backhand side. It's obviously in some sort of distress there, isn't yeah. it? Moving smoothly at the moment, not moving with confidence. He's taking it easy from the forehand. <laughs> but it was a good chance. Yeah. There wasn't much backward movement in this no. final shot, was it? He no. was moving forward. That's easier. Fully for that um, jump towards his backhand side because he will land on his left leg. So no holding back there at all. Goal! 
Oh, yes, that's lovely. She has played really well 17, in the second and third games. As seeing Siwet. Yeah, and it's brilliant um, play because she plays it in the side where Mentale would like to come forward, but it's so short that she would have uh, difficulties uh, catching it. points away from a place in the quarter final. They were the number three seeds two years ago. Lost in the first round. Didn't play last year. Hong Kong pair. Nice way to bring up match point opportunities. Eight of them, to be precise. Look at that. That's a super shot. And then the team fisher has got to look at uh, Tung Chung Man. Suspects. Oh. Yep. Second time of asking. And second and third games from the Hong Kong pair, the two left handers, Tang Chung Man and Si Yin Suet. Very impressive indeed. Oh dear. Yeah, he is really struggling. Dropped the opening game 19 21. But on the second and third, 21 12, 21 13. The match lasting 51 minutes. Well, you're absolutely right, Steen. Look at him. He is going to have to have some treatment and treatment pretty quickly but before his quarter final tomorrow against the very in-form Marcus Ellis and Lauren Smith. But they're safely through to the quarter-final. And they'll be delighted with that. 